Climate change has been a hot button issue for the past two decades as scientists around the world have come to the consensus that greenhouse gas emissions have contributed to global warming. However, gradual steady climate change over the past millions of years have affected one of our most cherished resources right here in South Texas, the Edwards Aquifer. In today's Climate Minute, meteorologist Sarah Spivey takes us into the past to explain the deep rooted history of one of San Antonio's most abundant sources of drinking water. Hi guys, and yeah, that's the key there. Gradual climate change, we can work with that as people and as an evolving species, but over the last 20 years, we've been seeing the climate change pretty rapidly. I wanna talk about the Edwards Aquifer today. You see this porous limestone, that is called karst. That's what makes up the aquifer, and that's what gives us our most abundant source of drinking water here in San Antonio. Let me take you back to the Cretaceous period, all right? 100 million years ago, yes, there were triceratops, 100 million years ago. Also, 100 million years ago, the atmosphere was about 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it is today. So Texas, because of plate tectonics too, looked a lot different. In fact, San Antonio was under shallow seas at the time. So you had things like um, snail-like creatures, corals, mollusks, clams all around, and those things died. And eventually they made up the limestone that we stand on today. And because of shifting plate tectonics, they made up the Edwards aquifer, which again is our source of drinking water. So I want to talk about that for a second. This is a cross section of the Edwards aquifer. There's that karst, that picture courtesy of Texas Parks and Wildlife. So across the hill country, you got the higher elevations. You get some rain that falls into the recharge zone, which you hear us talk about a lot. So think about Government Canyon or maybe Friedrich Park. If you're walking, you can see that karst that falls into the artesian zone where we can tap into that builds up a a lot of pressure we build wells and that's that number that you see that we give you uh, every day here on KSAT for the aquifer level and it's just fascinating guys that because of a warmer climate 100 million years ago and shifting plate tectonics that's why people settled around San Antonio to get that fresh drinking water. I mean, yeah, we have freshwater reservoirs around here, mm -hmm. but this thing is absolutely huge. And without it, we would be in trouble. Exactly. And climate change is showing that we may not get quite as much rain in the future to recharge that aquifer. So interesting to see climate change of the past and current climate change as well. Oh, definitely. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah.